Um, at this point, um, I would like to uh, introduce, if it's appropriate, two patients. And these, I've always said, are the bravest individuals. <laughs> these are the truly brave human beings who step out and are early, and in this case, uh, Mr. John Metzger, who uh, had to leave Cincinnati to get this technology because the Christ is the first center to be added to the partner study group in the last three years, which is really a monumental feat. And John had to go to Cleveland Clinic to have his valve placed. And the first patient in Cincinnati, Mr. William Witt. I uh, <clears throat> just wanted to say, say uh, I've had known you for quite a few years, and uh, you diagnosed me with heart failure back in 1998. <clears throat> and that was no problem at all, much to me, until the last year or so. Then I started getting more and more weaker and uh, harder to breathe, this sort of thing. And then in the, uh, you had mentioned the new valve replacement uh, procedure. And I said, well, I'll go ahead and do that. You, wanted to, you said that you possibly could get it in the future. I wanted you to do it, but you said no, you didn't, weren't able to do that yet. So <laughs> anyway, uh, he insisted that I go to Cleveland to get it done now. And I'm sure glad that you did because by the time they got me through up there and had it done, I was in pretty bad shape, really. And when I came out of that, the next two days after that, I felt like a new person, really, I did. So I've been feeling fine ever since then. I have no problems at all. Well, we had to wait and we had to work <coughs> hard for about two years in order to get the technology here. And it's um, very heavily regulated, very heavily controlled, and it's a, there's a process. Mm -hmm. And so uh, even though we were not able to provide the technology for you at that time, mm -hmm. I'm glad we have it now and I'm glad it works so well on you, Jim. Very good. Thanks. Now, Mr. Witt, Bill? Yes. Uh, you and I met uh, after my cardiologist introduced us in February. It took a long time coming to get this done, but I am so happy it's done. It was God sent that I met you two people uh, because uh, I was on a road to probably oblivion at that time. But now since I've had it done, I feel 100%. Um, Bill Witt again, yeah. really. So. It has been wonderful, and uh, this is going to be a boon to many people in this uh, town and state, and uh, there, are, there are throughout the United States. It's going to be a big help. Yeah, and I would stress that the individuals that we're considering at this point in time are those that are prohibitively high risk, and that's the same for all the other 22 centers in the partner trial. These are patients who, is, in essence, are extreme high risk and or turned down by uh, more than one surgeon for aortic valve replacement. And hopefully, in the next two to three months, we'll move into phase two of the PARTNER-2 trial, which uh, involves randomization. These are patients that are still high risk, but not prohibitively. They are still reasonable candidates for surgery. And these patients, uh, at the mandate of the US FDA, will be randomly assigned to either surgery or catheter-based valve replacement. Mm -hmm. And I think only through that kind of ter careful scientific testing will we know for sure the relative safety and efficacy of this new technology. Really? 